Welcome to the channel, everybody. First video here. This is my new to me 1993 Volvo 240. I picked it up from Insurance Auto Auctions as a run and drive. Overall, it's fairly solid. Not rusted out, which I really appreciate. Does have a little bit of body work, something going on there, which I will eventually address. The paint overall is in fairly good shape. The doors and everything all shut as they are supposed to. It has a few minor cosmetic defects. But other than that, it's fairly solid. It uh, is missing the lower rocker panel cladding, as you can see. Uh, but I believe I already have a line on getting that. As, long, as well as the piece with <coughs> that goes on the passenger passenger side rear door or driver side rear door, excuse me. It actually, believe it or not, has four good tires and they're all the same brand. So luckily for me, I'm not going to have to buy new tires anytime soon. Take a look at the interior. The interior is really in spectacular shape, except for a few minor things. You got the door cards here in the back. I really like the fact that it does not have the gold interior. It's one thing I really did not want in, in my Volvo was a gold interior. As you can see, I've got the nice charcoal interior. You can see I've got the speakers in the back. Dome light actually works. Headliner is all up there. It needs to be, needs a little cleaning, but it's all good. Believe it or not, all of the power windows work. Driver's seat, passenger seat, just a, Nice example of a 1993 240. Yeah, interior wise, the bucket here has got a little damage. The one on that side, the same way. Hopefully, I can replace that piece. It's not a huge deal if I can't. Glove box is there. There's actually a Haynes manual in the glove box, which is good. Horn works. I think it does. Maybe it only works when it's running. I'm not sure. <laughs> I know I honked it when I before. So other than that, you know, it rained a little bit today, but everything is good. One thing I did notice about it was. In all the other Volvos I've looked at that weren't black, they had a kind of a black decal right here. This one doesn't have it, I'm guessing, because it's black. So, and then under the hood, we've got the old red block. Now, I did buy this from Insurance Auto Auctions. I had to have it shipped. And the shipper asked me, you know, he could not get to my house because of the narrow streets. So he asked me, he says, hey, do you have a jump box? Because you're going to need that to get it home. I said, what? He says, yeah, the belts are not on it. So the battery is dead and it won't uh, start. So I went up to meet him. And we found that uh, I took the uh, battery from my Odyssey and bolted it in and it started up. But 
what we found was that both of the belts that went to the alternator off of the crank, both belts, well, one belt was gone. One belt was uh, just kind of hanging in there. And the, the belt that goes from the crank down there over to the AC system uh, is missing as well. So I do need to get a few belts. Uh, need to spray some cleaner in here and get it cleaned up. Uh, it does. It the suspension seems okay. The struts seem like they're 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 okay. I know the blower motor in it works, which is fantastic because I really hate to have to take the dash out to put a new blower motor in it. But anyway, I checked the oil transmission fluid. They're both clean. It runs fine. I drove it, you know, with, with no alternator, but I drove it back from eh, probably maybe a half a mile. And it seemed to, you know, it's, you know, 30 year old car. So anyway, so my first order of business is going to be getting these belts replaced. But what I've run into is the bracket for the, for the alternator, the adjustment bracket was uh, loose, and it looks like the alternator hit the bracket, and that's what snapped the belt because it hit the bracket in here. And what I'm missing is I, th I think this bolt was the one that went through here into the block, but I don't have. A nut for that. I'm trying to source that. I know I can get this and this, and and I also don't have the adjustment nut that goes into here, which I can also get. I can source all that from IPD. But other than that, the uh, it's got nice speakers. There's the broken tray there. Um, we'll have to. Try to figure out what to do about the radio. I may have to replace the radio um, because it comes on and says needs code, which obviously because the battery has been taken out. Uh, the dash, for the most part, has a, a little damage to it. But, I mean, again, 30-year-old car. I'm not expecting it to be perfect. I just want it to be fun. And that's, that's the goal. So we, uh, nice solid shutting doors, even in the back on here, door cards on the back. Are good door shut. Nice. And uh, yeah. So there she is. Uh, like subscribe, follow the channel for more. I'm hopefully things will work out and I will have a nice uh, running in driver here so I don't have to put so many miles on my Tahoe up there. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.